Hey, what's up guys? I hope wherever you are right now in the world, wherever you are in the world right now, I really do hope you're having a great day. Hey guys, it's a new day and I found Ecuadorian gold. Hey, yeah, that's right, you heard it right. I found Ecuadorian gold and you're gonna find out where the Ecuadorian gold is with me today on Let's Talk with Corey. Make sure you like, share, comment, and subscribe so let's talk with Corey, and I'll see you guys in a bit. Peace. What's up, guys? That's right, guys. We're on the move. Your guy. Let's talk with Corey. I'm going to where the Ecuadorian gold is. And so, guys, it's going to be a secret location. I'm not going to be able to give away much information. But, guys, just stay tuned. All right, I'm in route. Peace. Uh, we have uh, one plantation, the cacao or cocoa trees, cocoa trees. Uh, okay, these flowers are pollinated for mosquitoes, good mosquitoes. Uh, control of the weeds with uh, this small tractor, quitting, quitting the weeds. Uh, not use of insecticides, not use of herbicides. No herbicides. Welcome guys to the channel, Let's Talk with Corey. We're here with Carlos, the owner of the Ecuadorian Chocolate Factory, right? And I'll let you guys know exactly what the location is. And right now, we're actually in the factory where his workers and staff are preparing great chocolates. I'm gonna let uh, Carlos continue to tell the story about the product and how the process goes for the chocolate. Uh, we need to uh, make good pruning because we put pruning, we have uh, more production, less disease. The fertilization with the uh, compost of chickens and uh, white skin, uh, the cacao pot, really for harvest. So Carlos is talking about the cacao plants and the process for how they grow the cacao, cacao, the cacao uh, chocolate process for growing. 14 in Ecuador, in the moment of the harvest, uh, uh, harvest only cacao beans. Cacao beans in Ecuador, guys. This uh, is awesome, awesome the process. The cocoa beans immediately after harvest, after for two or three days, uh, is necessary the, the, the fermentation, the fermenting the cacao beans. So he's talking about the fermentation process for the cacao beans. And after the uh, drying to the sun, drying the beans. And so they dry the beans, they use a natural process or the sun to do sun drying? Sun, or with the hot, hot, hot air, hot air. Yeah, hot, yeah, yeah, okay. After, uh, in other location, uh, 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 we make uh, uh, the, uh, the, 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 the roasted and the peeling the, uh -huh. the, 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 the beans. Got you, got we, you. We obtain the roasted cacones. Ah, in so. this presentation, imported from Ecuador. Okay, awesome. And, and awesome. here, in these machines, transform it with uh, cocoa, roasted cacao leaves and uh, cocoa butter and sugar into the mix. So, guys, so what he does, what Carlos is saying is, is that the process that they use here is transforms through the machines and stuff that they use, the process that they actually create the actual chocolate. It's okay? Yes, good, good. This is awesome. So Carlos, what are the different types of um, uh, chocolates that you have? I see you have tropical bark, you have just different. Yes, uh, we have uh, five different concentrations in dark chocolate box. Okay, so five different concentrations. So uh, in concentrations, that means the, the, uh, the, the not the quality, but the, uh, the content of the chocolate. That's what you mean by the uh, different yeah, okay, the, uh, the chocolate 55% uh, is sweet. Sweet, okay. Uh, the chocolate 70% is semi-sweet. And uh, the chocolate from 85% uh, have only cacao paste. And 15% sugar, 10% oil sweeteners, and uh, uh, the chocolate 100% is only cacao. Wow. It's a... Uh, uh, the dark chocolate, uh, the high concentration is better, for, uh, it's best for for healthy, more healthy. Okay, so yes. basically what Carlos is telling me is, is the higher the percentages, the better uh, the, uh, the the health benefits 
that comes from the chocolate is better for you because of the high concentration. Yes, yes. And antioxidants and minerals, uh, vitamins, vitamins. Wow, wow, wow. This is good. This is really good. This guys. antioxidants. Oh, oxygen. So that basically for me, it's good for your body, good for your overall health is basically the higher the chocolate, the, the concentration is, the better it is for your health. Uh, that is absolutely awesome. So uh, some of the different type of packaging and stuff that you have, uh, Carlos, uh, do you have uh, stuff for special occasions? Uh, uh, for like, um, do you guys have a candy that, uh, uh, chocolates that you guys prepare special for like weddings, or anniversaries, or birthdays, or things of that nature? Yeah. You got BB. Yeah, so BB yeah, saying that they do. They have they have chocolate for every occasion. Every occasion. And so guys, we're here at the Ecuadorian Chocolate Factory, right? And they make great and beautiful chocolates. I'm actually looking at the different arrangements. I'll get in close. I'll try to shoot some, some individual photos for you guys for the channel. Um right now. Uh what is the telephone number, Carlos here? Uh, Carlos, the, the telephone number. So we're gonna use a card. I'm gonna put it up to the screen, guys, so you can see it. I gotta get it to focus in there. And so here is where they can be located. The 737-222-5199. They also have a 737-802-9651. And this is the EcuadorianChocolate.com is the website where you can find them. And also the email address is info at the EcuadorianChocolate.com. And they are at 251 North Bell Boulevard. And guys in Cedar Park, Texas. And I'll make sure that I put that in the description box where you guys can come here. Meet Carlos, mm -hmm. the owner, BB, a great representative <laughs> here in the staff, and actually see some of the great chocolates that they offer here at the Ecuadorian Chocolate Factory. We have also the bonbons. Ah, we have the bonbons. Okay. okay. So we're gonna go around, guys. We're going into the secret sauce of what makes this place work and thrive. We have eight different flavors of bonbons. So he has eight different flavors of bonbons. Dried fruit with golden chocolate. Wow, so the, also there's a combination between the dried fruit and chocolates as well they have here as well, guys. I'm gonna show you guys the different flavors and the names of the different bonbons that Carlos and the staff here prepares for you guys, hey? You got the coffee, right? At 150 each. We have the raspberry, right? We have the mint. BB, what's one of the, the most popular uh, bonbons? All right, so hey guys, you're hearing it first right here from BB. She says the most popular is the raspberry and coffee. But hey, you know, guys, Corey's gonna always tell you guys why not come in and try all of their all of their different type of chocolates, especially the bonbons that are here. Right? They got the mint, the liqueur. They have cognac. Yeah, so it has a little cognac in it, guys. So make sure that when you come in, you're over 21 when you try to taste this chocolate, all right? You don't want, want to make sure that you're a legal age to try that chocolate. She also, they also have coconut. They have passion fruit, right? They have mango, right? And all reasonably priced, guys. So we're talking about a place that's going to make top of the line, great chocolate, the best chocolate you've probably ever had in your life. It's right here at the Ecuadorian Chocolate Factory, guys. Where they're making the chocolate in-house. Not like the, the, store, the stuff that you're gonna buy at the grocery store that's already been shipped and prepared and spent a lot of time in the back of the store. Guys, they make the stuff here fresh on a regular basis, guys. And so remember, guys, like, share, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Let's Talk with Corey. And we have found the Ecuadorian gold right here at the Ecuadorian Chocolate Factory at 251 North Bell in Cedar Park, Texas, guys. I want to thank BB for being the gracious host and the owner, Carlos, for allowing us to come in and shoot this great video about this great place. Carlos, I really want to thank you for allowing me to come in. And I really do hope that uh, this place continues to thrive and be successful because chocolate is one of the sweets that we all love and is endearing to our hearts. So I want to thank you, everyone. I appreciate you, Gracias, for allowing us to come in, all right? And remember, guys, subscribe to the channel, like, comment, and share, right? We found it, the Ecuadorian gold, right here in Cedar Park. Peace.
this is the bonus footage guys so basically DB is actually allowing me to try each one of their chocolate bonbons and uh, guys this is bonus footage this is bonus footage and you guys are right here with me I'll turn the camera around because you guys haven't seen me so here I am guys all right let's talk with Corey hey guys thanks for taking this journey with me today and we found Ecuadorian gold all right all right let's see all right, which one is this one first? It's the raspberry. All right, we're gonna try the raspberry first, guys. Mmm, delicious, delicious. This is really good. Mmm. Now, of course, I'm not gonna be able to eat all this chocolate. So, just as advertised, BB is right. The raspberry is on point. And it's really good, guys. So just know, I'm gonna put all the information about the Ecuadorian chocolate, chocolate factory in the description box so you guys know how to find them and also how to contact them by phone and order online as well as email them, okay? All right, which one is this, BB? I have coffee. All right, this is a coffee. I'm gonna try the coffee, guys. Mmm. Mmm, the chocolate is just so delicious. And it's just so smooth. It's just like melting in your mouth. And you can also taste the hint of the coffee. Mmm. Okay. So the next one I'm gonna let BB tell me which one to try next. Because I cannot sit here and eat all this chocolate. I will be sick. But these are all delicious. What's the next one you think I should try? Uh, I just tried the raspberry and the coffee and both of them are delicious. Okay. <laughs> Alright guys. I'm gonna try the passion fruit and we're gonna see what this tastes like. Alright? There it goes guys. Mmm. Delicious. The passion fruit, you can taste it. You can just taste the, the fruit, the chocolate. It just gels together perfectly. It is really good. I don't know why. You guys should be flooded with customers right now. This chocolate is great. So guys, I'm gonna make sure I put all the information in the description box. The chocolate is awesome. You guys gotta make sure you guys come out here. I found Ecuadorian gold. You guys can find the same Ecuadorian gold right here at the Ecuador Ecuadorian Chocolate Factory here in Cedar Park, all right? Hey, what's up guys? What an awesome, awesome place, uh, the Ecuadorian Chocolate Factory. I definitely want to thank Carlos and BB for allowing Let's Talk with Corey to come into their establishment, their actual chocolate factory right inside of the business. They're making chocolate fresh every day, guys. And so when I said Ecuadorian gold, it's truly a gem, guys not just a gold nugget but a gem uh guys i want to highly recommend that if you want some chocolate for special occasions hey guys i actually did a bonus video where bb allowed me to try the different chocolates that they have especially the bonbons and they were delicious Mwah! delicious but i again i can't thank them enough for letting me in and letting you guys in to the to their chocolate factory and seeing how they make beautiful, beautiful and delicious chocolate right here in, in Cedar Park, Cedar Park, Texas. You can find your Ecuadorian gold just like I did. And again, guys, I always say that when you have small businesses in the community, they make up the community and that's what how the community thrives by having businesses just like that one. That where they're basically serving up really great and delicious products and especially the chocolate guys because that's what they make each and every day so i want to challenge you guys to take the information out of the description box and order some chocolate for yourself or for your loved one or for a friend or for a special occasion and check them out guys again hit the like button share comment and subscribe to let's talk with corey and hey who knows where i end up next right guys until the next time, peace.